How's it going, everybody? My name is Ospreay, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Definitive Edition. I think that's how I open this series up. Anyway, welcome back. So, been a little bit since I've recorded. I think it's been, what, two weeks since I've last uploaded? Uh, sorry about that. I have been a little busy in uh, my real life, but I got a lot more free time as of recently, which is very, very nice. So, let's go ahead and get back to The Walking Dead. I think last time we... All I know is we gotta go get, get Glenn. I don't remember 100% what happened last episode, but we gotta go get Glenn and do all that business. I think I put on 10, right? Have I? I have. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and go get Glenn. Let's just feed uh, Carly, yeah, then go get Glenn. Find some stuff to yeah, I've tried to open this Thanks. video so many times, sure but I just couldn't speak. For some reason, like good. it fills up my mouth. It's like too like. Trying to keep her fed and oh. watered. You're a good caretaker. Puffy. My Thanks. mouth was puffy for some reason, and I don't know why. You're a pretty good shot. But let's go get. Let's go save why our boy Glenn. Fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Heard that. Okay. Uh, you handle yourself well when you're working. Are you ready to head out? Let's go ahead and go get Glenn. Let's not. Out? Let's yeah. not worry about it. Yeah. Why would you ask so, me if I'm ready? If I ask you first, what the hell. Let's go get our boy Glenn before he gets killed by Negan. We got a lot of time for that, I think. This is like, wait, how long has it been since the whole apocalypse started? It's been what? Freaking two weeks, or not in two weeks, two days, something like that. Like this is really early on. Did you oh, see that? Sure did. Oh shit! Be ready to shoot. Guys, oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Well, at least he's still alive for now. All right then. Wasn't well, that was so easy long. enough. Right, let's get back to the Can hotel. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Idiot. Not yet. Why? Survivor trapped up there. No well, way. We got Damn, that sucks for them. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Damn, oh, it? that sucks. It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. Why are we? I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys. Wait, she said you. She was trying to say you were bitten. Almost got me. Weird. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky cool. You. Let's get the hell now out of here. Let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn, Why? We can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm actually on Carly's side about this. Why are we going to the seal saver exactly? Think about exactly. it. It was you. Exactly. God. I can't speak. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Classic motel fight. Bar scene. Oh my god. Uh, I wish I could speak. It'd be so nice if I could make a freaking sentence without stuttering or. Stopping halfway. I swear I'm not this bad in real life. Okay, I am, but okay. yeah. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of there. It'd be room. pretty simple. We're gonna point and click all all day long. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. True. Now let's have a look around. Okay. Big over the wall. Nah, I think I need to get this uh, pillow actually. We're just gonna smother all the walkers to death. Just <laughs> Oh, we can do it, I'm sure. Maybe we could, like, like take a pillow, take the pillowcase, put a brick in it, and just freaking use that as, like, a maze. That would work, right? Uh, yeah, you know what? I probably shouldn't be going doing that. I probably should head on over here. Go head on over here. Put the damn ugly ass on this. Uh, there he is. We can do this. I believe in us. I believe we can kill him. Like, now. Get out your gun. But the noise. I'm sure it'll silence it, even though that doesn't make any logical sense. I don't think a pillow will silence a bullet all that much. Like a 99% positive. Damn. That was sick. I don't think that would work in real life, but we're just gonna go with it, I guess. Alrighty. Yo. Alright. Let's go ahead and let it drive, and let's get out of here. Or neutral, I guess I should say. I don't know. Gonna... It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It'll come in handy. For what? Who's bad boy? Was awesome. That was oddly easy. <laughs> Things are not going to be this easy later on, I know it. Alright, let's go ahead and break that window with the spark plug, I guess. Have at thee! What? Let 
me see the spark plug. Why? The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. One just throwing the damn thing work too. Whatever. If it works, it works. That worked. What the hell does Glenn know about that? Oh, right. He did so far as in the day. I forget. Disturbing. All right, cool. We got a freaking screwdriver now. We're in all set. Good. That's exactly what I was this, thinking. This is a screwdriver. Alrighty. Zombie killing time. <laughs> all right, where where's this bitch? There he is. Nonchalantly, and stab him in the head. Boom. Is that bitch? This asshole. Alright. Come over here, motherfucker. I'll wait for him to get closer. Wait for it. Hit that, you bitch! Really? I'm gonna stab him in the chest, Lee? You know stabbing, stabbing him in the head is the right way to kill him. Come on now. You know this. You've been killing walkers for a day, but you, it's pretty easy to learn. Shut the hell up. Noise. Now. What the smart thing would be is picking up the head and grabbing the screwdriver out. Right? <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Why don't we just get the ice pick out of his head? I mean, cool, we got a fire axe, but I'm just saying we could really just. We're just gonna leave it there. Okay, whatever. T totally makes sense. We shouldn't just take the screwdriver out of that guy's head, out of the zombie's head, and just freaking use that for now on. Just have a secondary weapon on us. Okay. okay. We'll be right behind you. Makes sense. I mean, hell, we can't use Carly's gun, so much melee weapons as we can. Probably should hit a got hit two things. We should probably gather up all the medicine in the drugstore, then hit a freaking weapon shop, because you know we're gonna need some guns. Because you know this thing. I don't think the end of this is coming anytime soon. All right. Come here, you zombie bitch. <laughs> Good chow. Haha, take that, you ugly motherfucker. And you as well! Ah. Rad. Bitch. Did you just say rad? Glenn, this isn't the 90s. Well, this is 2003, so it basically was the 90s. Uh, well, the very early 2000s. So, I'll forgive him. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. We don't really listen to all that well, do we? I think she's telling us not to come in, you know? There's probably a reason for it. Just saying. Stop, just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, oh shit. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. I, uh, yeah, I think it's too late for that, yeah. Guys, she's been bitten. Yeah. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just... I think she Let's did. calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was mm -mm. bitten. You get sick and When you, you bit on anything, you know, unless it's a limb. If you're bitten, you unless fine. it's on a limb, you're pretty much you have a boyfriend? Why not now? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, okay. Just leave me, please go. And let you turn. Okay, we'll leave, I guess. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. Yeah. You have a gun. So can I borrow it? Huh. What do you mean borrow? Yeah. Give it to me. I can just you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? I'll give her the gun, because, be but a part of it doesn't want to give it to her. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. A part of me really doesn't okay. want to give her the gun, because I don't think she's going to... Use it to off herself. She's probably off one of us. So, can we have my fire axe ready in case of this? You know, just chop her head off. 
Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. You better you just be pulling this. a bullet through your head than. Let's go. Okay. We can't go yet. What? Well, Why not? Needs to drop and get because the gun. somebody needs to pick up the gun. Yeah. You can't leave it. You two go on. Yeah, I'll do it. It's easy. It's fine. Okay. Easy. Fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm really hoping she does what I'm thinking because I'm about to shoot because uh, that gun's gonna be in my hands if this don't work out. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Yeah, this is fucked up. Okay, at least she shot herself, so... Yeah, there was no, uh... Yeah, there was no happy ending to that one. What? Yeah, she was bitten on the stomach. She was screwed. Damn. This sucks! I hate making choices like this! Everyone alright? Yeah. Oh, uh, kinda. Calls, but just really saw someone fine. shoot herself in front of me. Yeah. But we're fine. We're okay. Right, I've got a few said. cans of gas. For I, I, I kind of okay. Did I? Good to hear it. I think. And it things did. back here. Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business. Did is I uh, clear out the um, pharmacy? Back back door yet? I don't remember. All right. Well, let's go ahead and check up we on can't everyone. Let anything happen to Ducky? Well, I think some food over here. Let's see how everyone's doing. How you doing, Kenny? Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. I don't blame you. Anyway, He's a douche. We, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. That's saying something. What's y'all's plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. Yeah, I'd probably you hit the road. You said your family was from here probably in Macon? Probably hit the road to a, somewhere right. out in the country where we can try they? for a little while. Should we go looking for them? Oh, you know, they, uh, they're they dead. Probably what you should do is hit, they, uh, hit the countryside. This place. Either that, they, uh, pulled some bodies out of the or get to a military base, like Fort Benning or something. Oh, Fort Knox, so somewhere around there. They were good Get people. somewhere where we know it's around, gonna be safe. Yeah, they did. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. There we are! How's she doing? I don't know. How should I know her family? Well, her family's dead, so she's probably not doing all too well. Her family's dead, so... But she doesn't even really know. I don't know. Yeah, well... But what? She seems to be handling herself all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute, Kenny. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. That's fair. Lee, you got a second? Yeah, what's up? Sure. I mean, that's fair, I guess. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. What about it? We didn't even try to save him. Oh hell, that man! That blood is on our hands, you know. It was gonna die anyway. It happened pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop. We really couldn't him save him. I mean, can't what the hell are we gonna do? We had to put the track off that him. Boy. But we, we could have saved him together. There was nothing we could did do. We could. Bad things happen. We didn't make a choice that killed Charlie. Not really. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Yes. Trying to let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Alright. Alright, let, right, let's see if I got this door open yet, because I don't remember if I have or not. I have. Okay. Oh god, no! Not the mouse glitch! No! Okay. Yeah, everything's open. Can I... <laughs> yeah, can I just whack it open with a freaking axe? That would make sense, right? 
course not. Be for me. I don't freaking metal. Okay. Well. Good to know that I have done that. See how Lily's doing in all this. Hey. Have I ever talked to her? I have? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hmm. Because we have to... Alright. All right, let's check up on Glenn. How's he doing at since he just... How you doing, Glenn? How that happened. You know. So, what's your next move, buddy? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. Yeah. What about your family? Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't think they're on good terms, I... right? For Forget whatever reason. It, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Man, I wish Glenn was in this game so much more. So, what's, what's your, story? your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? I'm surprised he doesn't recognize Lee then. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know when things are taken away, people do crazy mm -hmm. shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good. Good, good man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. She was gonna die, I dude. I did. Why the hell would you do that? She was bitten. Mercy, man. Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. She was gone. You never know. You can't give up hope. It was over. I think it was over for her, Glenn. I'm trying to get some rest. She's bitten. <laughs> that's almost your yeah, death. Right. That's your death freaking certificate right there. Hey, Carly. Let me see how Carly's doing. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. Doug? She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. Oh. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Oh? Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Interesting, okay. So how the hell did you get here? How'd you end up here? We I'm just gonna keep pressing Y. That's all stuff. I'm gonna do. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first hand accounts. You do radio. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding and I hit the blogosphere. I wouldn't worry about that too much, what Carly. Are you around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Well, did you turn the damn thing on? I know it sounds stupid, but you know what? Sometimes the easy solution is the most obvious. Well, at least you didn't. Nothing. Okay, well, there's that. What about the audio? Nothing. You know, it's probably a good idea if I get the antenna. Well, there's problem number one. Did you check the goddamn batteries? Oh my fucking god. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? No damn batteries. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. They're batteries! They're not that hard to learn! What the hell is wrong with you? Wait, hold on. What did my uh, remote ones work? I found this remote in the office. Well, that I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. Who knows? It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, the, these the, are the triple A? Yeah. Oh my god. I think uh, the batteries are... Here, I think there's a other one on the other side, right? Pretty sure about that. Oh, can I just give Glenn food? Here, here, buddy. I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids. I already did. 
tank, right? Yeah, it is. Well, there's one battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Right, let's go ahead and get from there. Let's go ahead and grab the other battery. Yeah, that should be it. And here's her. another one. Should be able to get it to work now. All right. Well, we'll let her handle that, and we'll get outside. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> what am I fucking crazy? Not suicidal yet? No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh? huh. huh. Chip, what the hell? Why not? Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I thought I did this last episode for some reason. Jesus. Ugh. Why is there so many of them? Yeah. He just. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. Oh, God. And if one gets you, they eat you. Yeah. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted you out. You fucking think? Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, we're. we're <laughs> this is gonna be a long, long, long ass time before anything's sorted out. What the fuck? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. It's not like pure awesome. glitching for some reason. Now to distract those things. Carefully. We got this. This should work great. Guess not. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? No, I don't. Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. So there are those lights that surely you could there just is, do right? that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. What the hell is AV? Audio video? Nice. Well fucking done. Well, I wish we had some TV, but dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Phew. Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Alright. Before we do anything, let's get to know this guy. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? <laughs> no, just doing my own thing. What about you? I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh, friends? Family? They around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. What's everyone like in there? I feel like we can't know. Well, Carly's pretty nice. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Seems like kind of yeah, a prick if you ask me. Guy. He's kind of a dick. Yeah. Pardon my French. Good. Yeah, that's everything we can talk with Doug Bell. <laughs> Sounds like an alright guy, though. Alrighty. Hey, yee! 
Damn! He's got a hell of a throwing arm. How the hell didn't he go in the M? Should have gone to the freaking MBL. MBL. MLB. God, eh? Now's the time. Yeah, probably only time. You know, if I had that screwdriver, we could go kill all those fuckers. Keep an eye out, will you? That's why we probably should have gone in, like. Isn't that like a. Didn't we. Isn't that like right across from us? Isn't that like a weapons or tools thing? Oh, this is lovely. We're gonna kill my own brother. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. That's probably what did happen. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Hold up. I gotta say goodbye to my brother real quick. Sorry, I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of all that helped. He died pretty quick. How the hell did he? Did he? Did a friggin' like electrical pole just fall on him? How did that happen? Oh boy. Why didn't I stab him in the head? Oh, that shit. Here we go, oh god. Keep going, Lee. Dude, just stab your brother in the head, alright? Just end this misery. There you go. Now you listen. Ugh. Gross as hell. Or something. Use a belt. Well, I guess not. We're just not gonna have anything to tie it together. Oh God. Man, that was close. For real. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Ah. <sighs> You would think an axe would work, but I guess not since it's metal. Alright. Oh, no. Why the hell did I turn the alarm off? Hurry. Why the hell is there an alarm in the back anyway? With a key. Why is there an alarm when I turn the key when I put in the key? That doesn't make any sense. You know what I was gonna say is we probably should take more than just like the microfinally or whatever the hell we're supposed to get. Uh whatever medicine we're supposed to get. Why don't you grab like a whole bunch of medicine. Instead of just like the penicillin or whatever it's supposed to fucking go. Oh, and that's gonna bring them all come knocking at the door. Isn't it? Yep! Ah, shit! Alright, we probably should get the hell out of here. Doc, come on, maybe time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back! I thought the truck was dead! Kenny, you could have said it literally that dallying, okay? You only have these chances once in life. The office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. This really makes me wish we had that goddamn screwdriver. We should have just taken the damn screwdriver, is all I'm saying. We should have just taken out of that zombie's head, but it doesn't matter now. Ah, oh, shit. Go, go get caught. Just see what the hell's wrong. Oh, fuck! Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Uh, thanks. We won't make it through this. Shut up. Thanks. Thanks, dog. Highly appreciate it, man. Oh, dear God. Please don't kill me! <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh, shit. I wanna, you know, kill them. What? Fuck, okay, that one's gonna dog. Oh god. Yeah, I like uh, the, the, the stick, the walking stick. Oh god. Shit. That's why we should have belted off the goddamn doors from earlier, then they wouldn't be busting in. Yeah, go fix it, I guess, although that really won't matter. Oh shit. <laughs> yep, that worked. Perfect. And me. Oh shit. There we go. Okay, we gotta close. Fuck off. Oh shit, Doug. Oh god, what's going on? What the fuck? Oh shit. Um. Kick it. Kick the fucker. Maybe if I give the uh, ammo to Carla, she can, you know, help shoot the zombies off of Doug. Okay, Doug, Doug, go shoot them off! Oh god, oh shit! That did not work out how I wanted it. Let's go! Well, that didn't go how I wanted it. We got Doug. Damn it. Oh shit! Oh shit. I got you. Fuck off, zombie! Alright, we need to get a haul on ass. Uh, shit! What the fuck? What the hell, you fucking dick! I saved your life and you're gonna punch me in the face? What the fuck's wrong with you? What the fuck, man? Get your god, please don't kill me! Oh. Thanks, buddy. Especially a good friend. Alright, thanks, man. Well, this place is fucked. Yay! We survived with goddamn barely! Okay, well now we're at the motel, okay. friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, I Oh, Alright, your friends, then it's wrong call where you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you, you gotta, gotta do. do. what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Okay. <laughs> and Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. She was bitten, man. Are you just gonna let them? You told Kari to give her the gun. She was bitten. No, it's no saving her. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. I don't think there was much hope for that one girl. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Yeah. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. 
Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Mm, no, Your parents are dead. No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Yeah, this is why Kenny is also one of my favorites. Even the whole <laughs> issues he has later on. When he starts going through his, um... He goes through his shit. He... How are you doing, girl? Ugh. I'm okay. He does, he does become a lot less pleasant, but I don't know how I'm going to handle that, cause, like I said. I can't my stop memory, thinking about that. I don't know, my memory is kind of foggy how it goes, but I remember him go, he kind of, goes kind of crazy eventually. Happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I get it. I understand. Wait, Lee? Whoa. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I figured since you had the gun, you could save him. I was going to help you both. Yeah. But you helped me first. I figured, you know, if I saved you, you could go and shoot the zombies off a duck. Wish we both could have That's not you. illogical, is it? Me too, Carly. It would have worked, but I guess we weren't fast enough. Yeah. Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? Duck, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Probably could use that Thanks. radio you know hook over SOS talk. or something. That probably wouldn't have been a good idea. I know it doesn't make any sense. But I guess sense, it's not really. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad, and now they're it's gone. It's kind of pointless to do it's that, gone. though. Maybe we can find you another one. Or just like have it on us just to call for help for other people. Lee, come here for a second. What the fuck do you want? Let me go deal with this. What, what does this douchebag want other than to kill me? What do you want? For real. Like my daughter? Not really. Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Where everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. God, he's such a prick. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Hope so. God, he's such a My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead. Because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Uh, true. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. I wouldn't bet on it. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with that. cars. This is kind of a shit place to say, but maybe for a few days. Until the military rolls Just through. say we probably should hit the road not I'm too long after. Take what we can beds, camp for the drugstore when that once that clears out. Importantly, we got light. Fix up that camper and places to call home. And then yeah, you're right. start hitting the countryside. No guys, I think it's going to be okay. You just had to say it, didn't you, Lily? Yeah, uh, yeah, see, see? God damn it, Lily. You damned us all. Ugh. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out.
I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing? So I have an energy bar in my inventory. I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. I mean, how long? Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. I think this is we're from what, the St. John say? Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Be for the next episode, oh, so fun! All right, let's look at this. All right, honestly, lighter Herschel, 54% of players are honest. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? Sean, 52% of players chose Duck. Noise, loyalty, side with Kenny, 54 defended Kenny. Nice. Mercy gave Irene the gun. I didn't even know she had a name. 47 gave gave her the gun. Makes sense. And then who would save Duck or Carly? 49 shows Doug. I think that's like a vast difference from the original game. Well, anyway, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode here because I don't think there's any after credit scene in this episode. I think that's a little bit later. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of The Walking Dead Season 1. Uh, the next video is probably going to be episode 2. Like I said, I don't know. I think along, I think when I, 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 I think when I started this series, I was I said I wasn't sure if I was going to continue this series. I think I'm going to do episode 2 and pretty much beat season 1 and then go to a different game after that or just kind of play games in between. Now and then. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next very next video, which either is episode two episode two or whatever I decide. Who knows? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.